Welcome back. We are so excited and honored to welcome back via Zoom again on our show from the new hit Fox show, You Bet Your Life, Jay Leno and Kevin Eubanks. It's on weekdays at 1 p.m. right here on Fox. I love this show because sometimes when I watch it, guys, I feel so smart and I'm proud of myself. And other times I feel like <laughs> I didn't even go to high school. I'm like, what did I miss? <laughs> well, you probably did good. You probably did good. There you go. <laughs> Jay, how's it been so far? Your first season on Fox. I love the show. It's going well. H how you feel it's going? Oh, really good, really good. I'm really happy. You know what's so funny? Uh, the thing that sold this show was you said it's a comedy game show, but no politics. And it's amazing how well people get along when you take politics out of the mix. I, you know, like people you wouldn't think you would agree with. They just don't discuss the subject. Oh, I like this man or I like this woman. We have a lot in common. And you see that on the show. You see people from all walks of life come together. And we don't, it's not about issues. It's not about politics. And you realize all people basically want the same thing. They want to have, you know, good education for their kids, good food, a nice place to, I mean, just the basics, you know. And, and we all work together to try and find that goal. And it's great fun. People, you know, my wife likes it because when she's in a bad mood from watching the news all day, the show. <laughs> I mean, she sees people smiling and having fun and high-fiving each other. And, you know, I call it month-changing money. It's not life-changing money, but, oh, you win $1,000 or you go in 5500 at the top of the show. And the people just go crazy and have fun. It, it really is great. I, I enjoy it. I, I like it because it's totally ad-lib. You know, when you do a show like The Tonight Show, you go backstage, you discuss what you're going to talk about with the celebrity and the press agent goes, my client will not discuss that, you know. Oh, right. The people meet for the first time. I meet for the first time. Everything just happens live. So you don't really know where it's going to go. And that's what I love about it, too. It's it's feels genuine. And I do like the contestants. You really uh, identify with them and you root for them, which I think is important. You want to root for the contestants and you're well, giving away money. <laughs> yeah, I love the contestants that come on there. They, they, like Jay was saying, they don't know each other. But I love, in fact, about a minute and a half or two minutes into it, they like each other. They're high fiving each other. They're, they're, you know, they're into it. Just like if you're at a football game, baseball game, or something, and you don't know the person, but you're hugging like you know each other. Somebody's going to grab you. Oh, I'm getting ready to go. I'll grab you, some, grab you a beer or something like that. I like seeing that on the show because it's good for the country to see too. Absolutely. That these people that don't know each other, they're, they're having fun, they're, they're, you know, in a game show way and making some money and all that. It, it's really, it's just fun and they're not shy. When yeah, the and on. speaking they're, of money, you have a contest that started, I believe yesterday, where right. viewers can win, I believe $1,000 for jokes. Yeah, the way it works is, uh, I'll show you this clip and say, we have a thing, you know, this is Rodney Dangerfield's 100th birthday coming up. Uh, in just a couple of weeks. And it's kind of an honor of Rodney, you know, because Rodney was, nobody ever knew, I knew Rodney for 30, 40 years. I never knew his politics. He never discussed it. So we always had a good time. And he made people, everybody from Ronald Reagan to President Obama, everybody laughed at Rodney because he just had jokes. The jokes were about himself, you know. So what we do is we have a thing called the Rodney Wheel. We spin it, a subject, and we bang out jokes as fast as we can. And one of the subjects was the smart dog. And people like this one. Here, take a look at the clip. I'll show you. Okay. Rodney Dangerfield, what we call, these are Rodney runs where we, like Rodney, just do a bang out a bunch of jokes on whatever particular subject comes up on Rodney's wheel. Let's spin the wheel and see what we're going to talk about today. Hey, the wheel, the Rodney wheel. Smart dog. Oh, Kev, I tell you, I got a smart dog, Kev. Very smart. Let me tell you how smart he is. He's so smart. After he marks his territory, he gets the title and has it notarized. Boom, I tell you, that's, that's a smart dog, I tell you. This dog is thinking all the time, thinking all the time, Kev. He's better than Goldman Sachs. He started his own currency. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the dog's currency. It's amazing. When he runs out of food, he puts his order in the Amazon cart. That is a smart dog, Kev. Oh, I tell you, to protect his bones, he signed it up for LifeLock. I tell you, this dog doesn't, oh, he doesn't fool around, Kev. Before peeing on the newspaper, he finishes the crossword puzzle. That's a smart dog, Such Kev. Smart dog. He is so smart, he texts me when he wants to go out. Okay. He is so smart, he got into USC without the help of Lori Laughlin. That is a smart dog. All right, enough of that. Let's I like that one. Yeah, me too. Okay, I like the Lori Laughlin joke. I like that one too. Well, if you have one, you mail it in. I mail it in. 
you email it to us uh, to <laughs> youbetyourlife.com. Just send us a joke, and if we like it, uh, you'll win a thousand dollars. It's as simple as that. It's uh, kind of getting the whole audience involved and giving away some money. So, do these and have to be original jokes? Well, yeah, you can't steal jokes. Okay, I was just checking. <laughs> Yeah, you can. Yeah, I just wrote a great song. It's called American Pie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, you, can't, you can't take somebody else's joke. It's got to be at least if you think it's an original joke, you know. Right. Kevin, what were you going to say, sir? Oh, yeah. When you're watching the show, you can scan the, Q, the QR code, and that'll take you right to the site, and you can answer some questions. You can still win money and prizes, all that happens. So it's, it's really interactive too. So it's just another way to enjoy the show. Yeah, too. and we'd love to have people from Springfield be contestants on the show. That's another key to the program. You know, most game shows pull from the LA area like 30 miles around LA to get contestants. And that's fine, but LA people are a little jaded. When you find people from Louisiana and South Carolina and Maine and Massachusetts, and, and you fly them out here and you put them on TV, there's an excitement and an energy you don't get with locals that kind of do it for, go on game shows for a living, you know? Right. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. It's such an honor and a joy to talk to you. We love the show here in the Ozarks. I'll tell people, go submit, beat, try to be a contestant. We'd love to represent our area on your show, and we would love to see that, and we love that you're giving away money, and we love you're not political. I mean, two thumbs up to that, my friends. That's right. Appreciate all the help. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, a lot. Thanks so much. Bye. Great to see you guys. Make sure you go enter right now to win that thousand dollars at youbetyourlife.com slash smart dog. So much fun. Love so guys. fun. All right, coming up, we're heading down to Branson to a brand new restaurant for authentic Jamaican food. We'll be right back. Aren't they just the nicest? So nice. And they love to give away money. Yeah. And I wish I could take some. Me too. <laughs> Me too.